The 467 is JCB's largest wheel loader, weighing in at 24 tonnes. It was introduced in 2012 for markets with fewer emission regulations. As you would expect, it comes in a JCB branded box, but it's a bit strange because nowhere on the box does it tell you it's a JCB 467. Of course, although you can see the model in the box, that doesn't help either because the 467 isn't marked anywhere on the model either. So the model travels incognito and it does that in sealed packaging. And if you can't be bothered to peel off the tape, then a sharp knife soon cuts through it. So that's done, let's separate the two halves. And this one feels like it's actually vacuum sealed because you can hardly pull the pieces apart. But hey, let's be grateful, there are no twist ties holding the model to the packaging. Anyway, finally, the plastic formers are separated and then you can get the model out. There's no instructions and no assembly to do because this model is complete, out of the box. Underneath the differentials and axles are modelled and there's a bit of drive shaft from the front axle. A nice detail is the perforated access platforms just behind the rear axle. The rubber tyres have got a nice matte finish and the wheels have got wheel nuts detailed. At the rear the engine covers look good and the counterweight has got lights with small plastic lenses. The cab detailing is good and a nice touch on the inside is the red fire extinguisher. A really terrific detail is the tiny access steps which have JCB embossed on them. In fact this is a high quality model from MotorArt because nearly everything is metal including the handrails, the mirrors and even the light stalks at the front and the beacon light on the roof. At the pivot point the steering cylinders are visible but there's no drive shaft or hoses. The loader arm has got some decent graphics on it and all of the rivets have been painted so they look good too. Moving on to the large bucket and it's a nice metal casting. Out onto the test track and the big JCB rolls along very nicely. Picking it up we see that the rear wheels are fixed to a common axle and they spin really well. And the oscillation of the rear axle has been engineered well too. The front axle is essentially fixed which is good. And the steering across the pivot point is also good because the angle is decent. And the steering rams are just stiff enough to hold a pose. Moving on to the digging functions and the loader arm is really stiff. So you have to be careful what you hold on to as you try to raise it. And the range of movement is not as good as the real machine because the bucket barely gets to the height of the cab. But on the other hand the tipping movement is really good. And a complete discharge angle can be achieved. So from most viewpoints a decent posing position can be achieved. But there is another area where it's not quite so good. So if we summon up all our strength and lower the bucket. Then you can see that it can't adopt a proper carry position with the bucket down. There is another feature on the model though which is really good, and that's the two opening engine covers. They fit well so you need to get a fingernail under them to open them up, but it is nice that they can pose in the open position. And with that you can then get a really good look at the engine, which is worth seeing because it's nicely detailed with different coloured components. Anyway, flaps down and prepare for the genuine imitation real life test. So here we have the 467 moseying up to a road tipper. And the good news is that the bucket height is high enough to get over the side. The operator uses his special hand control to tip the bucket and empty it. But no, it's not quite empty, so give it a real shake, will you? Yeah, that's better. Job done. In summary, this is a very good quality model from MotorArt. The details are good and the metal handrails, mirrors and lights are nice. And for the most part, the functionality is good too. As a wheel loader model, the JCB 467 is highly recommended.